hey guys it's me Taj welcome back to my channel and here's the thing about racism I always see posts like obviously it's very fun to read comments on different forums and posts and obviously racism is like one of the biggest topics floating around right now um, it's very relevant if you don't think it's relevant check yourself um, and I find it interesting when people get defensive about being called racist and the first thing that pops out of their mouth is I'm not racist those words have decreased in value and they are a cop-out to me I hate to see people defense begin with I'm not racist because this is the thing just because you don't think that you're you are racist does not mean that you are not ignorant you are not insensitive you are not illogical about your thinking you are not uneducated it doesn't exclude any of those four things just because you say that you are not racist that may or may not be true but based on what you just said obviously you were either one of those four things ignorant unintelligent you are insensitive anything it can mean anything so you saying that you're not racist does not excuse anything that you just said and here's the thing about being racist some people are unknowingly racist you like i mean when some when you feel especially on, on in situations where some, there's like you have you have those people i won't say they're all white but you have those people where you're you have someone will post a meme about something that's important and, and racially um, informed and, and, and it has information in it that's important for people to know. You have those people that comment something like, well, this is racist because it excludes it excludes their race or, or whatever other race. And that's the that's the that's a problem for me where you feel like everything has to be all inclusive. That's how you drown out cultures and, and important information when you're all inclusive. Like, you cannot make a post all inclusive of everyone. You just can't. You can't. So why not have, like, personally, why not be black and post black things? Like, of course, you don't have to do it all the time, but I'm a black person. That's, the, that's who I know how to be. I know how to be a black person because I am. And, and for most people, you grow up around the people that look like you for the most part. So I can't relate to, you know, Caucasian issues or Asian issues or, you know, I don't know, African, African based issues as in African from the, the continent of Africa. I can't relate to those things because I haven't lived that. What I have lived is in my African American self. That's what I have lived. Now, if I get out more and I hang around other people, that's when you become a fully informed individual. And that's when you learn things like I love when when suburban kids come out of the suburbs and come to the city or travel abroad. They learn different things and you find out things about where you come from and the people that you grew up around and how uninformed they are. You you learn things like that. You have to come out of your comfort zone. So when people um defend themselves by saying you know i'm not racist because of this person i'm not racist because you know i don't i don't dislike black people i just dislike the things they do like what that doesn't make any sense just come out and say you know maybe my comment was racially insensitive but this is what i meant and sometimes you'll be right and sometimes you're gonna need to get checked because you still don't sound right but my point is because i think i got off topic a little bit is that it's okay to be racially ignorant it's not okay for you to willingly you know not give a shit about learning about other races or completely um completely being oblivious to the history of racial relations that's another thing that blows me when people act like history is not there and that it didn't happen and that it doesn't apply to the future it does apply to the future it is the way that it's the reason things are the way they are now. So don't sit up here and use that as an excuse. Well, I'm not my, you know, I didn't have slaves. It doesn't matter. You still have a slaveholder's mentality. That's the problem. 
You still think you're better than me, whether you had slaves or not. It doesn't matter. So, no, I'm not holding what your, what your grandparents and what their parents did against you. I'm holding your current mentality and your lack of education against you. That's what I'm holding against you. And no, you know, I'm not necessarily calling you racist because I know plenty of people that don't know about my culture and where I come from and say things that would be offensive to me if I wasn't already open-minded to the fact that they don't know. So I have no problem explaining like, yo, you can't talk to me like that. That doesn't, this is why you can't say that to me or this is why you can't treat me like that. And sometimes they'll be like, wow, I didn't think of it that way because that's not where I came from. Fine. And then some of them will be, like, be like, no, that's bullshit. You're being sensitive. And that's not fine. For me, it's fine to them, but it's not fine for me. So at that point, I'm not explaining myself anymore. I'm going to let you go be oblivious to what other people do in the real world. And I'm going to come over here and explain to somebody that actually cares and wants to know about the people that they live on, they share a planet with. You know, that kind of thing. So I just... I just wish people would take more interest in, in learning about other people and not basing their knowledge on what they were taught. Because my parents taught me a lot of stuff and I will say that I took, if I want to be generous, I'll say I took about 60% of what they taught me to heart. The other 40%, you got to grow up and decide if that's what you want to believe or not. And the further you get in the world, I'm sorry, but you will realize a lot of stuff your parents taught you is because of something somebody taught them. It's not coming from experience and it might not be coming from love, unfortunately. It just could be parent parents can do wrong. They can do wrong. And it's your and it's their job to give you the basics so that when they do do wrong, you are able to click that something goes off like, okay, you know, that's my mom, I respect her, but that wasn't I don't necessarily agree with that and go about your business that's all you know we're not bashing anybody I'm not bashing any parents I'm not bashing any people of other races I just want people to be more willing to learn about another and not just yourself do your research even learn about yourself and where you come from I don't know very much about African culture and apparently that's what I come from I wish people would understand the difference between African American and African like I I don't you can't tell me oh, side note you can't tell me to go back to Africa because I would not function well there because that's not where I come from that's it might be in my bloodline but all of that information about my culture is lost and you know why it's lost so I don't know anything like that that would take an adjustment for me it would take about the same adjustment for me to go back and live in Africa than it would for me to go live in, I don't know, Australia. Or to go live with freaking pygmy people. I don't know. It would take a lot for me to adjust because that's not where I come from. I'm used to the American way. I'm used to the way we live over here. So I don't know anything about that. You know, those are the little things that you could check yourself on. Or, you know, I come from mid a lower middle class family. Um, I don't own a shore house I don't I didn't get to visit Bora Bora or anything like that I don't even have a passport I'm gonna be 23 and I'm gonna, gonna just be getting a passport so just check check where you came from versus where somebody else came from so you know don't come at me like oh you've never been outside of the US what you're missing out like yes thank you I realize that I'm missing out and I plan on getting out but just just understand that I haven't got there yet I'm not on your le level yet, so don't belittle me about it. So unfortunately, I didn't get to do a proper ending for this portion of the video because I was getting kind of anxious and feeling a little overwhelmed and emotional, as you can probably hear in my voice. So I didn't get to end it. But thank you guys for listening to my little rant, and please leave me some comments. I'll see you guys in the next video.